now we are ready to um, finish up the the rim um, on the you know on, on this part here um, so first of all let's um, bring uh, that thing in a little bit more uh, I think it's just a little bit thinner something like this okay and now let's say okay we are um, creating an edge loop just right about there uh, what we don't need is uh, the edge loop here on on the inner side so select that so double click on that edge loop and say delete edge so with that um, we are able to scale down this part right here so select that um, go to scale and again hit control scale it down oh, let me undo that mm. let's insert another edge loop right right about here so now let's repeat that select um, the uh, face loop scale it uh, again hit control and then scale it down in X yeah, that, I'm happy with that maybe a little bit more tiny bit so here okay so now if you uh, see the smooth version of this um, yeah I wanna just insert some some edge loops to um, get some sharper uh, transitions here um, let's add one here and let's add another one right there okay so that, sh that should help to yeah just uh, have a little bit more detail there as you can see and yeah, that's that's looking good to me I mean you won't see that um, when you render this I mean who renders the rim from you know this side but just for yeah just for having a little bit of detail there okay so now we take care about the inner part of um, that rim so select this face and shift select or double click on the face next to it so delete all those faces and then let's select um, the inner edge loop here and let's extrude that um, in a little bit so right about here doesn't really matter so and then um, with that edge loop selected so now let's, um, let's go to mesh and then fill hole and then again select that face and go to edit mesh and say poke face all right let's add an edge loop right here just to yeah if you if you uh, smooth that so that it stays back there okay so now let's select this edge ring right here or edge loop and say extrude extrude that in and let's move that back and now let's do just one more hit G on your keyboard um, let's extrude it one more time uh, that's that's not the right one um, go to um, you know just hit W to extrude that back and then you can scale it in okay and now do uh, hit G to repeat the extrude and extrude that back as well somewhere about here okay maybe not that far in so and then with that um, 
edge loop selector um, go to mesh um, say fill hole and again uh, like we did on the other side select that face and say edit mesh poke face all right so now if you hit uh, three on your keyboard you see it's coming close to what you see on the background image I mean yeah it's only only a matter of fine-tuning all that stuff so now let's um, hit one and then again extrude let's say we want to extrude this um, just um, uh, hit um, R on your keyboard for a scale tool and then scale it in. So the what we are trying to create now is um, that part um, where the uh, logo is on. So that comes out and it's fairly small. Let's try to go to the side view. It's not too bad. I mean, it's getting wider. So all right, let's scale that up just a little bit. So I'm focusing, you know, on 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 that part right here. As I, as I mentioned before, I mean, this is not an orthographic image in the background, so it's yeah, it's something that you have to, you know, always remember when you try to um, focus on that on that image in the background. Okay, so now I extrude the, um, those faces again and extrude those out, and that. Uh, that piece that that comes out that cylinder that's not coming coming out you know as far as you know it's just a little bit inside of that whole rim I think it's even a little bit more inside of that okay so now to have some uh, smoother results we have to um, insert a few edge loops here let's insert one up here okay hit three to check that this okay so now um we might want to add one down there okay I don't want to bring it too close to the edge down here because that would um, produce a, a very sharp edge and as you can see that's that's not that sharp okay so let's try to bring it in right about here check that out 